so this is all the products that i have in order to achieve this color this look is inspired by tamara gi she showed how she you know got her wig to be that color on her channel so i decided to try it this is the darkest blonde that's going to be at the roots and then this is the sand blonde and i'm going to mix that with the light golden blonde and yeah i'm going to show you how to do that in a second so I got my gloves, of course, you know, to protect your hands. I got my combs to, you know, comb the color through the hair. Also, my aluminum foil to sit the hair in while it processes. Then I got my silicone mix. In the video, she used the bamboo silicone mix, but I mean, they both work perfectly fine. Like, it still brings back the softness to my hair. So I love using silicone mix anytime when I'm dying hair. So that is a must. If you are going to dye hair or bleach it, you need silicone mix. Then I got my Colored Charm Wella. It doesn't have the name of like what the kind of developer it is, like the number. It just says Colored Charm. It's like the active lotion. That's the same one that she used in the video, so I decided to use it too. Then I got my applicator um, bottle. This is really helpful. Make sure you get an applicator bottle instead of a brush. And then I got my Shimmer Light Shampoo. She used conditioner, but all I had was the shampoo. Then I got my Got To Be Freeze Blast Spray to protect the lace. And then here is the wig. So this wig is 613 and it is from Le Mer, I believe. If I can find any information on this wig, I will leave it down below. I didn't actually purchase this wig. My mom actually surprised me with this and got this wig for me. So yeah, any info that I find about the wig, I will leave it down below. That is what the lace is looking like. Um, I don't know the density on it, but I know that it is 24 inches. It's a 13 by 4. So it has the three combs in the front, a comb in the back, adjustable straps in the back. As you can see, this wig is like a yellow kind of Barbie blonde. So we're going to use some purple shampoo to tone that color a little bit. I went crazy on the purple shampoo. Like you really don't need as much. Like as you see, I'm ODM doing way too much. So just a little bit goes a long way because I don't know if it's because I didn't stir it too much. But the hair or maybe I just added too much. But when I had dipped the hair in, it had actually turned the end silver. So yeah, be mindful of that. You only need like a little drop, nothing too much. And you know, you don't have to let it sit in the water too long because the wig will turn silver. So be mindful of that. Before I dye the hair, I'm going to add some silicone mix to it. That purple shampoo did dry the hair out, so this is going to, you know, bring some moisture back to the hair before I go ahead and proceed to dye it. Next, I'm going to take my Got To Be Freeze Blast and I'm going to apply that to the lace to try and protect it as much as I can before I use the dye. It will, it'll like, you know, it won't cause it to be as bad of a staining. I will show you how the lace looks, you know, after I have rinsed the dye out so you can, you know, determine that yourself if it works. So the first color I'm going to use is the light blonde and that is going to be applied at the roots. So the directions say that you take one bottle of the liquid color and you fill that same bottle up twice with the developer and you know you mix it together and that's pretty much your mixture. Super easy but I did leave it on the screen you know just if you were a little confused by it.
so like i said this color is for the roots i only got one bottle of this color so i'm really focusing mainly on the roots and then i'll spread a little bit you know on the ends of the hair but i'm mainly focusing this color onto the roots and i'm gonna take my comb and just you know rake through the hair make sure every strand has gotten that color and i also separate the hair in the front so you know to make sure that every section has gotten this color So for the next two dyes, I followed the same exact steps that I did with the first color, but instead of putting it in two separate applicator bottles, I put it in the same exact one, you know, mixing the colors already, so it just makes sense to put it in one bottle. But as always, if you are a little confused, I do have what I did on the screen. As you can see that first color that I applied is turning purple and that is perfectly fine if your hair turns purple that is fine you are doing something right so do not worry about that the hair will turn dark and you'll probably think like you know you did something wrong or that's not the right color when you wash out that dye the hair will be lighter So this is that second bottle mixture of the sand blonde with the light golden blonde. You don't have to use a second go round mixture because in total that would be, I use five bottles. You don't, like I like as you've seen a couple of clips before, the hair was highly saturated with just three bottles, but I bought the extra bottles just in case and I wasn't gonna use this color again so I wanted to make sure I used all of it. And yeah, now I'm gonna allow the hair to process in some foil for about 30 minutes. I'm not, you know, closing it in too tightly because I want some air to ventilate through it. But yeah, after 30 minutes, I go ahead and wash it out. As I said earlier, the hair is dark, but once I wash that dye out some more, the hair will turn light and you're about to see that. This is the hair after me washing out that dye and as you can see the hair is definitely lighter. It is a difference. I'm showing you how the lace looks after I had added that got to be spray and I can see a difference. It didn't really stain it too much and I'm going to take my silicone mix to you know um, soften the hair up some more because the dye and the developer did dry the hair out and this is just going to bring back that softness that the hair had when I first had it. I will leave what I used down below in the description box, like what color I used first, how many boxes I used, all that, and I will leave the inspiration video down below. I was inspired to do this look by Tamara G.I., so yep, I will credit that down below. And yeah, this is what the hair is looking like after I let it air dry and blow dry. And I am going to, you know, do my normal install, so I don't have much to say right now, so I'm going to let y'all just watch that.
This was how the wig looked after I took the pins out and I layered it a little off camera. I really wish I would've got some pictures because this wig was for my 20th birthday and I got no pictures to show for it. And my mom stayed coming at me for that. But this is all that I can get on video. So yeah, I hope that this video was really helpful and really detailed for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if it was. My Instagram is above, so go ahead and follow me and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.